what's up guys leaflet here with a guide for zeta actually i'm gonna move over to the other side zeta we'll be taking a look at her uh this was uh highly requested actually zeta was one of my first characters i played zeta in the demo did you guys know that i played a lot of her in the demo right on into skills zeta's skills so she's got uh kind of similar to the other characters she's got three abilities that are must-haves and then one that's a flex spot so absolutely must have spear of arvis Spear of Arvis must have. With Zeta, her main mechanic is that she jumps into the air. So let me actually show that real quick. She jumps into the air. Boom. And then she has like this kind of aerial combo that she does where you jump up and then you kind of go, you can do different things. That's really important for the context of her skills. Spear of Arvis gives you launch, which is really good. So that's the main reason for this. It's also a gap closer and it's and it gives you your important mechanic. Vengeful Flames, supplemental damage. You and me both know this is OP as hell. Get supplemental damage on her Vengeful Flames. Very very important and also necessary for one of her most important techs in the game. Vengeful Flames must have. And the other one that is a must have is Infinite Wonders. Infinite Wonders right now does a lot of damage with some tech. Right now it's a must have. Later on, it might be a flex spot if they fix the bug with it. Get Infinite Wonders. If Check out the comments below. I'll pin it. If, if they change it, I will say so in the pin. If there's anything, by the way, I ever find out about Zeta, it's going to be down there in the pin in the corner. New video. But right now, there's nothing there. Infinite Wonders does a lot of damage and applies your Arvis for Mara, which is her other mechanic. Arvis for Mara is a debuff that is unique to Zeta that increases her damage. This will apply it right away. Normally, you have to do a certain combo to apply Arvis for Mara, but with this, you press and it gives it to you. And it's range. It's got a lot of range. It's really good. Also, three charges. You can really pop this whenever you want. Really, that one. But for her other ability, again, this is her flex spot. You can kind of get a bunch of different things. A lot of people really like Wing Clipper. Uh, really great against Bahamut, Proto, Proto Bahamut. It does paralyze the enemy, but it's incredibly slow. It's something you have to really plan out ahead of time. Damage on it is pretty good, but it's actually less than Infinite Wonders. I wouldn't take this for damage. I would take this more for the stun, uh, which does give you a lot of honors, by the way. Signal Drive, we talked about attack up buffs again. Really good on certain characters that have trouble reaching cap. That would be EO, Vasaraga characters that, oh, this could be good for you, but if you're already hitting cap on everything, it doesn't do anything for you. But there are a lot of ways that you could use this. One thing is using it right before SBA chain is really good because SBA is really hard to cap as well. Again, it's going to depend heavily on your teammates, what kind of gear they have, if this is good. In general, if you're playing with high geared players, it's going to be a lot less value. Thousand Flames. This just sucks. Removes one buff. There's nothing in the game yet. This might be good later if there's enemy buffs that really do need to be dispelled. Okay. Realm's Majesty. So this one readies a parry encounter and applies Arvis from Mara. Zeta already has a native. It is very slow on startup if you are in the middle of something. However, Realm's Majesty comes out immediately. If you want to play a little bit more defensive, you can have this Realm's Majesty, which will also boost you into the air. But for me, I think Reign of Fury calls down a volley of, volley of spirit it also just lowers their attack which is just a defensive buff for your team essentially right lowering the damage that the enemy does is basically a defense buff so that's why it's kind of nice can you remove sanguine from bosses you mean bloodlust no you can't remove bloodlust from bosses those are her skills okay now we're gonna go into like the mechanics with zeta zeta again she's got you know, her regular combos and she also has which is a native counter where if you land this it will just jump you into the air and this actually blocks everything and it has pretty good frames the startup is a little slow but it does have a lot of frames if you have trouble you see so much stuff about to hit you just pop this and it'll just launch into there but then again remember you're not invincible once you jump into the air you will get knocked down if it's actually like an aerial attack but the main thing with zeta is she's got her uh, let's just actually just look at her command list. She's got her main thing is just her regular combo. She only really has one combo, which is just this. And that launch gives you launch at the end of the combo. It actually moves quite a bit. You can actually like, start the combo pretty far back, which I'd recommend if you don't have your dash up that you just start using it. So by the time you reach the target, you get that launch. What's good about the launch is that you can do pogo. So using using an attack will dive towards the enemy. So at the end of it, she dives towards the enemy. Now, you could press the button again to jump, to bounce off of the enemy back into the air. So it looks like this. And it takes a little bit of timing, but like you just practice enough and you'll get there. You could do this indefinitely for days, forever, in the air forever, sky zeta.
But did she, she does actually have another way to get it. So again, you get it if you if you if you parry. She will like block this and then jump into the air. There is another way, and I actually really recommend this, is you jump. But if you jump and do this, you actually start higher. Because you're already in the air, right? She still does the kick, backflip. But you actually just start like a little higher. Which is really nice for getting like right on top of their head. After you do that, and you do three pogos, one, two, three, she turns blue. And when she's blue, you can press triangle, which is your special button, to do Arvis Hammer, which is the spin spin strike. And the spin strike is does a lot of damage and applies your debuff. So that's kind of your best thing to do there. So now just talking strictly about damage, it does more damage to do this and hammer. That does more damage than straight pogo. However, Zeta is a type of character where you really have to consider your options, right? If the enemy is moving around a lot, then you probably just want to keep bouncing off the enemy's head. Because if the enemy is like hitting the ground and you land, you will just get hit. So there are some cases where you want to keep doing this and some cases where you want to go down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, three, sorry. And then you do the hammer. Sorry, it was three, not four. But there are some cases where you want to do that because that's the highest damage. But however, again, you can't be doing damage if you land and then you can't even hit these. Right? Like if you have to like land and then like jump away because the boss is going like, you know, ape shit, then it's better if you just stay in the air. So this is something that's going to be very fight dependent. Yeah, those are your main ways. Your other way is if you link attack. Link attack actually also sends you into the sky and also gives you blue immediately so i'll show you guys so after the link attack you have to press attack one time and it will launch you if you press nothing it will not launch you you can actually just here we'll we'll hit it you get the blue you hit your link attack and you press attack again which will launch you into the air all right and you, so that way you get your launch. If you don't press anything, you'll just stay on the ground. So make sure you press attack after link attack. So when you get link attack and you get the launch into the air, you can actually immediately press triangle to get Arvis Hammer. You don't actually have to land in for the dive. So that's really nice. And you could do that all the time with anything. So say like you're doing this, you get the launch and then the enemy jumps away from you. Hitting, hitting, hitting. Enemy just jumped away from me. Oh, damn, what do I do? You press triangle. And you get the dive, which actually chases incredibly far. So the d the dive from the spear, this dive doesn't move as far as a sp as Arvis Hammer. So if the enemy is far away from you, in the middle of your combo, you launch the enemy's far, always hammer. Because then you'll jump right on top of them. So with this main set that I use, a couple uh, animation cancels that you can use are... Uh, you can... So when you're using her supplementary damage buff, Vengeful Flames... Uh, I'm going to, again, move in a circle, and I'll hit Vengeful Flames, and you can see how slow it is. Once you see the supplementary damage buff, you can actually dodge cancel. And you can also attack cancel, but I think the, the dodge cancel faster. Yeah, I think the dodge cancel is a little bit faster. So you can actually cancel out of that, so you don't have to wait for the whole animation. Another thing is, too, you can actually dodge cancel out of the Arvis Hammer, and this is really nice. So that you're not like sitting on the ground. Because if you look when she does it. She kind of gets stuck. On the ground for a bit. So. So you can just dodge cancel that. Like this. One more thing. When you're pogoing on Zeta. Like this. You can actually air dodge. And this is an important note because you can use this to delay your, your attacks, which I will show later uh, in the combat section. But you can actually like jump backwards to delay your to delay. If the enemy is about to attack, you can actually like pause in the air so that you don't dive right into the attack. And you can also just iframe dodge it. And you can use it to kind of like do these 
pops that you can reposition. So you want to be like right on top of the enemy. So you're like on this side like this and you want to move like right on top of the enemy. You can like use the air dodge to move yourself right on top of the enemy's head. So you're not getting hit by like these wide arc swing attacks. So when you're in link time, we just tested it, by the way. When you're in link time, what you want to do is Spear of Arvis, one pogo strike, and then into Arvis Hammer. So we'll go into link time here and show. So you want to do that, one of these, Arvis Hammer, dodge cancel, dodge, there, Arvis Hammer. And you don't want to hit it as early as you can. And that's what you want to do for link time. All right, there we go. God bless. I was really afraid it was going to be really complicated. So now we'll explain some tech with Zeta. So when you use her supplementary damage skill, and this only works with her skill, it does not work with regular supplementary damage. I don't know why this is, but you use her regular skill, and you get a dash, you'll see it hits twice. You see there's like one, one hit, behind and one in front right so if you if you do a pogo off of the second hit it counts as two jumps normally we go one two one more and then you would go in harvest hammer right however with this trick and this requires a little bit of timing and this is, this is a little hard. You're just going to have to practice it, unfortunately. Her sigil helps. Her personal sigil helps. But you go one, two, and then you Arvis Hammer. And then you could go again. One, two, Arvis Hammer. And that is like the big special tech on her. Uh, you could also do this. You could do like the two first and then one and then Arvis Hammer. But the reason I do the two, I do the other one is because if you do the second one last, so you do one first and then two after, she's lower. So she actually gets to the target faster. So you do one, two, and then you hit the, the hammer. That way you end up lower and you get to the target faster. Saves, saves the frames. It is quite hard to get. I'll tell you the way I do it. The way I do it is I listen for it and it's always like the same kind of rhythm. So unlike Zeta's other pogo where like it, the, the, the rhythm changes depending on like how far you are, what angle you're at. With this thing, it always does the second hit at the same time. So it's like duh, duh all the time. So it's like, I always just, I just listen for it and I've just gotten used to it. So I go, and you can practice on a training dummy like this. Again, you ignore the first hit and you you go for the second hit. So that's like one of her like important techs. We're doing lots of damage because it gets to your Arvis Hammer faster. Now the other the other tech for damage, and this one is really dumb. Infinite Wonders. Let's see how much damage Infinite Wonders does. Three, three, two, two. Again, I'm not capped, but three, two, two, right? Three, two, two, uh, thousand. Now, let's try it again. Did double damage. And I think the way this works, I'm not 100% sure, but what I think is happening is that she's firing her laser all along the animation. So I think what's happening is she's playing, firing this laser along her animation, right? And if you cancel it, the animation is longer. That's what I think is happening. But this is why I was saying Infinite Wonders is really good and why I was debating if the Infinite Wonders damage was higher during Link because of this. So I'll tell you how to do it. You have to fire Infinite Wonders at the target and you have to, do you have to dodge cancel at the immediate immediate frame that that it comes out so it takes a lot of practice see how the damage was lower that's because i did it wrong and the sooner you do it the more damage it does see 6 30. let's see if i do it a little bit later so that's like base 322 right if i do it a little bit later So it's a little bit less. If you get it with perfect timing, 
It does more. And you're just gonna have to practice this and get the kind of timing for it right. It is, it is, it deals double damage. A little bit more. It's slightly more than double damage, actually. So this is why Infinite Wonders is so good. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about, let's talk about sigils. She has a couple special sigils. So her Crimson, Crimson Clout. Crimson Clout increases the damage that she deals against a debuff target from her debuff by 25%. You need this. 100%, you need this. And her Flight extends the timing window to chain a, a high jump loop which makes it easier to do the uh, the pogo combo. Also makes it easier to do the supplemental damage tech where you dash to, through her. So, I mean, do you need this? You don't actually need this, but it does help a lot. And you could try taking it off later to kind of give you a little bit. You could take it off later so you could train a little bit on it, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah, she is a clout chaser. You're right. Crimson clout chaser. I'm not going to go over the build at all because I already have a guide for that. You can check out our other guides. We have a mid-game mid game sigil guide as well as an end game sigil guide so you can check the, check out those guys for like more more builds but there are a couple notable things on zeta and that is the combo boosters she's combo boosterable as well as injury to insult is actually she's one of the characters that injury to insult is actually really good so what this does is injury to insult does bonus damage to targets afflicted by status elements and it's a uh, plus 22 percent uh it's it's usable on her it's also damage dealt by the way not attack so it actually increases damage so it's very similar to look uh charged attack it's very similar to charge attack where it boosts your damage dealt so like having this in in combination with attack mods actually helps a lot the reason why this is good on her is because if you're playing zeta correctly they should always be debuffed by arvest so that's why injury to insult is great on her so we'll go into a little bit of gameplay okay up against the rock golem just to kind of showcase zeta you can use your counter oh my god you can use your counter to immediately get jump so one thing so this is pogo when you just keep jumping see how see how he's backing away from me i'm gonna jump back delay by air jumping so i stay out of that so you basically want to keep staying on the target and then if you can like it's pretty safe right now so i jump back down and get a repogo see i like to be like right on top of his head like this and i did that by repositioning with these air dodges and see you could keep attacking him by using your air dodge and like why would you come down for that i got hit there because i was i fucked up but why would you come down for that and that's kind of what i mean you have to know the fight as zeta to know where you can go and also always attack them in the head when you're zeta i know i wasn't but always attack them in the head when you're playing zeta and anytime the boss is attacking you while you're doing this you can just air dodge those are going to be your best friend when you're playing zeta by the way is anytime somebody ogies or the boss face changes or something and there's something that slows down the thing it's oh it's good you're gonna love it you're gonna love it am i right zeta players you're gonna love it anytime the screen gets taken away from you you lose sight of your pogo oh yeah see but you can use like the air dodge to kind of reposition and you can just keep hopping on the enemy which is why this hop even though it's less damage it's so good so i'm gonna like delay a little bit See how I like I, I dodged backwards just to like buy some time, so I extend the extend the time that I'm um away so I'm, I don't get hit by stuff. So this is a very important skill to learn as Zeta. I'll do it again here. See how I'm I, I'm delaying so I don't get hit, and there you can just air dodge if you mess up mess that up. See how like I can keep on him even though he's attacking. Also, when you get Link, you're going to want to come down. You're going to want to Arvis Hammer and then come down. So I'll actually show that real quick. So ideally, you want to watch out for the Link. The, the link. So you get your... It's pretty safe for me to come down. Get that. Jump up. Oh, God. When you see that, you want to dive down and then reacquire. So when you get Link, you want to always Link with your Arvis Hammer. I'm going to stay up because he's going to do that. I don't want to get hit by it. Now I'm just going to go back down. Get the link attack, which will launch me back up. And I can go down again. Now, uh, I'll show you how they use the supplemental damage thing. 
So, uh, you see, I jumped there. So, I, I'm, I'm up higher. Dash in. One. One, two. Arvis. Of course, it didn't work there, but... Well, oops. One. That. Launch up. Arvis. And again, you don't actually have to pogo off of a link attack. If you link attack, you can immediately Arvis. Yes, you, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it depends, right, Ramit? So, when you link... When you link and you can Arvis immediately, you can, but you also have to know what the boss is going to do next, right? Because if you Arvis and then the boss is immediately going to punch you in the face, it's better to pogo a couple of times before you Arvis, right? So I'm, again, that's the hardest thing about playing Zeta is you have to understand the fights and understand like where you can greed and where you can't. So, so that's why I think Zeta is pretty hard to play because you have to understand, not only do you have to do the timing game, but her difficulty is different than other characters. Like other characters, their difficulty is like, how do I dodge while dealing damage? Whereas with Zeta, it's kind of like, when can I go in? When do I, when can I come down and reset my combo? When can I Arvis Hammer reset my combo? And those are like things that you have to think about and, you know, just, just experience as you play, as you play more Zeta. Timing and boss knowledge. Exactly. YOLO, Asian. Thank you so much guys for hanging out and checking out uh, the Zeta guide. I really appreciate it. Hope this helps. And uh, I, I stream Grand Blue Fantasy Relink on Twitch.tv all the time. Come over and hang out and have. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I always, I always answer them. I have no problem. With people asking questions doesn't bother me at all. Please don't forget to give the video a, a like if you liked it and a subscribe and a subscribe and please hit the notification bell for more. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.